Well, howdy, y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm feeling a little cowgirl here. I'm not. I'm really definitely not. Today's story is about the day I discovered that I liked being funny in a very uh, embarrassing way, <laughs> per the usual. Once upon a time, I was at a... Where was it? I mean, you, uh, well, it was my first high school show, Annie Get Your Gun, and I was part of the chorus. Before high school, I didn't really think I was funny. I would try to make some people laugh, but for the most part, I just felt like I was an average book reading, introverted, I have three friends kind of person. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I enjoyed it very much, but there was a few girls in the school who I just saw them as the cool girls, okay? Gorgeous, good at acting, comfortable around other human beings. Things that I aspired to be, <laughs> especially that last one. So at the time, I'm in a rehearsal. We were waiting on the lead characters to finish their part and they kept having to redo it. So we're all standing there. We're supposed to stay in line. We're bored out of our minds, or at least I was. When I'm bored, I kind of get lost in my head as far as my imagination goes. I had just watched Despicable Me, and if you've never seen it, there's a character in it, Vector. There's this line that he has where he does like this hip thrust thing, and he's like, oh yeah, right? <laughs> and I found it hilarious. I love physical comedy. So I was imagining that scene in my head, and I'm cracking up. I did not make a conscious decision to demonstrate what I was seeing in my head, okay? But unfortunately, I did. And I'm gonna move the camera so you can see. Will this fit? Oh gosh, okay. Oh, oh. oh there I am. Oh, I'm gonna have to raise it up a little bit. You raise me up. Okay. Oh, gee. There's a chair here. I think you can see me now. This is my setup. Yep, it's a blanket. I don't know if you can see it in there, but yes, I have a Christmas tree set up for Thanksgiving. I don't care. Judge me. Watch me leave it. So I don't actually know if I can still do it, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Only for the World Wide Web. So I'm gonna tell you the story, how it went down, we'll come back to this uh, setup here. Editing. Can't wait, whatever. Okay, here we go. So I want, I want you to get a clear picture. Cool girls here on this side of the gym where we were rehearsing. I'm over here on this side of the gym and I was like, man, they're just so cool. And also in my head, thinking about Despicable Me. Despicable Me. I know, wasn't it great? <laughs> oh, she's fantastic. I just love watching her act. My boy. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. So I hear this hysterical laughter from across the gym. <laughs> this is during rehearsal, remember? Okay, so there are people practicing. The director is there. And I realized what I had just done was not done in my head. So I'm completely embarrassed because now I know, oh my gosh, someone just saw me do that. <laughs> and I look over and I notice that it's the cool girls. They were laughing. I mean, I was so embarrassed. What are you doing? Why? They came up to me and they told me that I was hilarious. And they said it had made their night. Instead of just being embarrassed, I realized how fun it was to make people laugh. And I figured, you know what? I may never be one of the cool girls. I mean, they were great. They weren't like exclusive or anything where they wouldn't talk to anyone else. They weren't like that. I realized in that moment, I wanted to be a funny girl. I wanted to be talented, good at acting, fun to be around, kind, makes people laugh, and that you just know you can have a good time. So that was the day I saw who I wanted to be. The moral of this story is be yourself. Have fun. Don't try to impress people. Don't try to change yourself so people like you. Being authentically you is one of the best things you can do. I hope you enjoyed this very ridiculous story. If you did, like, share, subscribe, comment, you know the drill. Have a super fantastical, wonderful, amazing, and glorious day, okay? That kind of rhymed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>